Alright, this is going to be one of the first of many videos on learning Go, the new programming language from a few guys at Google, uh, also known as Golang. You can go to golang.org and uh, see more about it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up on OS X. So uh, head into Terminal. Uh, make sure you have GCC installed by doing GCC Tech V. If you have output, then you do. If not, you need to grab those CDs that you got whenever you bought your Mac. And on one of them, it has the Xcode install. And go ahead and install Xcode. If you don't have Xcode and you have Line, you can get Xcode 4 for free in the App Store. But really, we just need the dev tools um, that come with it. So after you do that, you should have all the Python. Um, build essentials installed and so we can use mccurl uh, type in hg and you should see things hg is mccurl it's just like git so uh, alright so once you have this um, I'm in my home directory so this is where we want to put it it's just easier and uh, um, we will paste in this link here to clone the Go repository. So HD clone, just like the clone, uh, the release branch of it, and then the repo, and it's cloning into Go directory. So this will take a little while. My internet connection slow. I live in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of dog barking dogs, and uh, we'll come back when this is done. So the clone's done. So now we need to cd into our go directory ls and look around in here. And now we need to cd into src. And there's this file all.bash. So we do all dot slash all dot bash. Enter. And if you get this warning here, just cd back out into the go, the root go directory and make a new directory called bin. You know, we'll head back into source and try that again. And it, this will actually make and compile Go for us. So, uh, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, uh, this may take a while. So, have to pause the video again. So, now that that's done, uh, at the end here, it, you should see all tests passed. Uh, if you did, then it, everything compiled correctly. Um, if you're on OSS, the debuggers need to be installed. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do dot bat slash sudo dot bash. Enter. Input your sudo password. And now we have debuggers. So uh, let's see if everything works. So let's um, CD out of this. And I'm going to make a new project folder for this. So CD projects open source. And I'll just call this Go Tutorials. And this is where I will keep um, all the tutorials that we worked through in these videos. So let's test, make sure everything works good. So We'll just use Vim for this. Say, oh, first thing we need to do is set up our environment variables. So let's cd back to our home and do Vim, and then on a Mac it's .bash profile. We'll hit enter, and I already have these set up, but the things you need to do is first we need to have this export path. And then it'll be dollar sign path and then a colon for another. We want to get the default path variables. Then we want to set our own and it will be dollar sign home slash go slash bin. All right, that'll set up that. Then we need to export go bin to dollar sign home slash go slash bin. We need go root of home slash go. Our Go OS is Darwin on OS X, and our Go architecture is AMD 64. All right, so put those into your Bash profile. Um, 
go ahead and save this out and uh, now let's restart our terminal session so we'll just hit exit and then start in a new one and we should have everything so if you say echo go root with a dollar sign in front of it you should see the path to go right so let's go back into our project folder say vim um, we're actually going to be using a different text editor for this but for this example it's real simple we'll just use vim so vim hello.go alright and in our first line we say package main we'll give it some room we need to import fmt and then we need a new func main and then some brackets alright and inside this function we need to say fmt dot print with a capital and then F and then inside what we want to print we'll just say hello Mike alright we'll save this now we see we have hello go and to compile this we'll say 6g if you have your path variable set up right you this should work so we'll go 6g for amd64 if you're on a 32-bit system will be 8g and then hello go hit enter that will compile our first round and you see we have a new file hello.6 and so now we do 6l and then hello.6 and then this will create our program and we have a 6 out so now we can run this 6 out and you can see our hello mic that came in uh, so we didn't have a line break so that's why it ran on so our environment set up it's working we can compile so now it's time to jump into the code in another video